y'all with another motherfucking video, bitch. And it is 1047, okay, honey? So we finna just go ahead and hop into the message. So before we get started, we're gonna get a Bible verse. So we have Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in your life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness, okay? The Holy Spirit say he produces this type of fruit in my bad. It say our life, our life, okay, honey? So I feel like um, if you call on the Holy Spirit, if you call on God, they're going to come through for you. You know, I ain't been getting nothing but, but joy, love, patience, peace, everything, kindness, faithfulness. You know, one thing about God, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, baby, they always come through when you, when you call on them. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I feel like this is some type of significant message. I feel like good harvest is gonna start coming coming to the ones who've been seeking God. Okay, so let's get um one energy for self. Let's talk about self. Let's see what's going on with self. Okay, what's going on with self early this morning? What's going on with self? Me, myself, and I. Nobody else. Me, myself, and I. Okay, we have unlikely here. So I feel like there's something that you're holding on to that's unlikely is going to change, that's unlikely that's going to happen here, but your situation will improve here. Also, I feel like if you're not holding on to something, maybe you see something as being unlikely. Maybe you feel like something's not going to come through for you, and it is. Take it however it resonates. I feel like two energies is coming off this card for the ones who's holding on to something unlikely. If that's not the one for you, that's what I'm hearing. It's something better. Um, for the ones who feel like, oh, wow, this is too good to be true. I'm never going to get a person like this. You feel like that's unlikely to happen. God's saying this is going to happen for you. So let's get, um, and one thing about it, you guys, make sure y'all use y'all own discernment when y'all take these messages. Go talk to God about it. Don't just take nothing and you're not sure if it's yours. Go talk to God. Ask God to confirm it. God is not going to rebuke you for asking him questions, okay? So let's get one, um, one, let's see what's going on with self. What's this unlikely? Well, judgment. I feel like um, judgment is being made here. Uh, why my hand, God is clearing up a lot of stuff for you here. Take it however it resonates. We got emperor at the bottom of the deck. So it's, it's time to gain control over your life here. Some of y'all really pro probably have to put y'all foot down. Take it however it resonates here with this emperor, emperor card coming out. If you got something to communicate, make sure you be very stern. Be about your business here. Judgment. It's time to look over your life. It's time to reflect on the things that you've been going through because you're holding yourself hostage. That's what I'm hearing. Some of y'all are holding y'all stuck because y'all don't want to release something in y'all past. Y'all just keep holding on to it. So I feel like um, God is going to call judgment on this situation. He's going he's to end it for you. He's going to free you. That's what I'm feeling like with that judgment card. This Ace of Wands is being here. Somebody is very creative. Somebody is very passion and somebody got some type of talent in them that they need to go after they need to get up and take action towards it but I'm feeling like judgment has to come in first for this person to take action. So a lot of things have to be released here. I feel like some of you guys are going through some type of spiritual awakening. Y'all could be really reading y'all Bibles more and more and more lately because of the energies that's going on around you here. So let's see what's going on. Tell me more. Kimber did want to say for herself. Actually, I want to see um, something telling me to get this day. So let's see what um, this day want to say for itself. What's going on with self? Peace. I was just going to say peace and the star card came out here. It's time to heal from your past. It's time to heal from trauma. It's time to heal from like a lot of things that broke you here. Okay. I feel like some of y'all God blocked with this judgment card here. God blocked a lot of things out of your life and you just don't know why. Some of y'all is wishing, hoping and praying that it come back because y'all see it as success. I feel like somebody just wants you to give to them all the time. This is Some of y'all feel trapped. Some of y'all feel so negative in y'all head to where y'all don't want to release something here. I mean, you got to boost your confidence up. You got to get your, you got to get more confidence about yourself, baby, because somebody only wants you for a good time and for your money here. So don't nobody really, I'm hearing this person. That's why God blocked it from you. Some of y'all, y'all seen this man as an emperor or something like that, but he's not a boss figure. That's not, that's not what God has planned for you here with the eight of swords being here. This is a lot of trapped energy, a lot of mental conflict. Take it however it resonates. Um, this could be a job for some. This could be a person for some. This could be a place for some. Take it however it resonate. God had to literally block something to free you here. 
And one thing about it, when he free you, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to believe, you're gonna have to pray, you're gonna have to hope and wish and like and really pull on God. Like, see, this is this is the test where crystals and sage and all this stuff ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work right now. This is God, captivity at the source. Somebody is gonna literally feel trapped. I kid you not. Somebody literally gonna feel trapped. Where God gotta really like, where is no other option but to call on God. You don't have nothing else but to call on Him. You feel me? And that's the type of energy that I'm getting like. Because because I feel like whatever is going, whatever is going on, it might look bad, it might look negative, take out every resonate, but it's it's not going to break you. It's unlikely to break you. It's going to make you. So whatever you're going through is literally making your name. It's giving you your testimony here. It's going to, you're going to get some type of blessing, some type of reward out of something. That's why God not freeing you. He's he's leaving you stuck, but he's removing a lot of shit out of your way here, so you could just get up and do it on your own because you don't need nobody else. At the source here. It's a lot of mental conflict though. Some of y'all feel scared. Some of y'all feel like, how can God use me? How can how can I be a vessel of God? How is my purpose of God? That's why he putting you through it. See, see when God sent Moses, when God sent Moses to tell Pharaoh to free the people, God already knew that Moses went, that Pharaoh wasn't gonna free them people, and God already knew that Moses was more than capable of getting the job done. See, he, Moses just had to prove to himself that he was that he was willing, that he was capable. You understand me? So you right now you're just proving to yourself that you're capable. You're not proving nothing to God. God already know it. Some of y'all are, are, are entrepreneurs. Y'all are boss. Y'all are y'all get hella respect. Like in the future, this is you. You're the masculine. You're the energy. You're the people that people bow down to. I'm talking about when this person speak, everybody listening here. But you gotta step into that. You gotta clear your mind up here. Yeah, I feel like some form of truth is most definitely gonna come out about an emperor, about somebody that you felt like with your was your twin flame. Twin flames are karmics, okay? If he's not your kingdom spouse who God sent, it's not going to work here. Twin flames are most definitely karmics, baby. You're finna get the truth about this man. Something is literally finna come out about this person. It's finna literally break your motherfucking heart. Tear that ass up. It's finna tear that ass up. It is. It is. But guess what, though? God got a better plan. God has a better plan for you. Somebody sees you as a will of fortune. Somebody sees you as a meal ticket. Somebody just want to use you for what you got here with five of wands here. Somebody is homeless, broke, worried about their future. And they plan on taking you dry. They plan on taking you dry, friend. So God said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for my elite. I'm going to do it for mine, okay? I'm going to keep you blocked out. And then for some of y'all too, God going to let you, God gonna let you have it. He going to let you have it because you put other stuff before him. He gonna say, go ahead and just go ahead and just get your heart broke, honey. It ain't nothing I can do about it. That's why he's saying unlikely. Unlikely, your life is gonna change. But see, some of y'all, y'all gonna walk into this shit. Y'all gonna feel like this is success. God gonna let you free. Do do what you're gonna do here. I don't get no fucks. That's how he feeling. You know, he love you to death. You know, this is how I talk. God love you to death. But God love you so much that he'll let you hurt. Your hard head make a soft ass. You feel me? So yeah, that's the type of energy that I'm feeling, honey. But trust and believe after everything said and done here, you're going to be reconsidering. <laughs> Your situation is going to improve, honey. You are going to get a second chance, but you're going to have to reconsider here. But see, God said they're not going to reconsider until I hurt their feelings. I got to hurt their feelings first in order for them to reconsider. So yeah, good luck. That's why I'm here. Good luck. Love you to death. So let's get, um, make it happen. Yeah, you got to make it. You got to make life happen on your own, honey. So let's see what's going on with your career and finances, baby. What's going on with your career and finance? I feel like when I talk about self, I talk I talk to the people that be holding on to the people in the past. And be like, girl, they, they ain't going to get it. They ain't going to get it. I understand, God. All right, honey. Let's go ahead and get, um, let's go ahead and get, um, career and finance. What's going on with career and finance? Career and finance. Heavy on the no. Heavy on the no when it comes down to the career and finance here. Let's see what's going on. It's like get more information. So there's something that you're doing right now. It, um, I'm hearing you're not going to be doing it. A no on it. You're going to get rejected on something here. You need to get more information about the stuff that you're doing. It's a heavy on the no for the career and finance. Why is that here? What's going on? Mm -mm -mm. Why no here for career and finance? Okay. So three cards. Four cards came out. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Wands is here. Three of Wands is here. I mean, Seven of Pentacles is here. Three of Wands is here. Star card is here. Ace of Cups is here. There's something new that's most definitely going to come into your life. Something that you thought was a failure here. 
yeah, justice, something is literally finna come blindside you. God is finna give you what you deserve here. I feel like whatever you're doing, you don't need to be doing that. That's not you. It's not It's not for you. Seven of Pentacles. Um, maybe you done invested a lot into this situation here and you probably didn't get nothing out of it. You was waiting to get your harvest back from it. But the Three of Wands, God is finna send you some type of escape plan. He's finna send you something new here with this ace i mean with the star card being here i feel like this is going to be a wish come true i feel like whatever you've been doing whatever you've been doing it's been healing you it's been bringing you peace and comfort and joy into your life while you've been patiently waiting in your season of waiting here so now god is going to grant your wish you're going to literally get what you wish for this ace of cups okay this is going to be something new something passionate something that that's god saying something that you really love doing here i feel like this is going to bring out a lot of emotions in you because you're going to get some type of new passion in when it comes down to your career so that's why god is saying no right now okay get more information about whatever you're doing trust the process here yeah you're gonna let it go you're gonna let it go something's gonna come in to make you reconsider here you're gonna have to compromise here because you're gonna be choosing a new direction a lot is going to unfold in this year on why you had to let whatever you're doing go right now yeah, it's that meditation brings answers here within the next few months you're going to be li li living in your purpose that's what i'm hearing so yeah, it's time, it's time, it's time to move on. That's what I'm hearing. It's time to move on from your career, whatever you're doing now, to something better. So let's see what the Kipper deck wanna say about the career and finance. What's going on with this career and finance? What's going on? Okay. Give them more cards for this career. So yeah, we have community card coming here. Maybe you got some type of community, some type of following, some type of support system, some people that really look up to you here. Take that however it resonate. So I feel like, yeah, we got the house card being here. It probably was helping you with your bills. It probably was helping you escape your mind here. Take that however it resonate. And then we have expectations. Yeah, it, it gave you confidence in yourself. It helped you heal. It helped you learn like what you're dealing, what you're willing to deal with and what you're not here. Then we have official person, official man. So there's something new that somebody else is going to offer you here. Maybe somebody that you've seen challenging, somebody that you've seen kind of hard, felt like you couldn't, it was unlikely for you ever to get this energy here. I I feel like that energy is most definitely finna step into your life. They see you as some type of mature woman here. Take that however it resonate. Maybe it was some type of job position that you really felt like it was too good to be true. Like I'll never get that job. I never that'll never be me here. You're finna get that. You're finna get that. And it's finna be most definitely a guy. This is a stern, firm guy. That's that's kind of, you can't read this person at all. It's kind of hard to read him here. So you probably didn't know if you got the position or not, but you did here. I feel like like this house card always come up with your career and finances here with the three of wands here. So God just had you patiently waiting in the house. But now something new is finna come in. That's what I'm hearing with your career and finance. You're finna get some type of blessings here. I feel like with that seven of pentacles, yeah, you did start some type of community here. You gained some type of following here. But now your followers are finna, y'all, all, everybody is finna be watching you do something different. That's what I'm hearing. Everybody is finna be watching you do something different with the three of wands. I feel like some of y'all are literally chasing y'all dreams right now. But in order for you to chase the dream, in order for you to, for this to happen, some of y'all literally had to move. Y'all had to relocate here. But don't worry here. I'm hearing God say, this, you was already prepped for this in advance here. You already went through the season of studying and understanding here. So you know what you're supposed to do here. So don't be worried about whatever it is to come. So heavy no on that career and finance. Get more information, friend. So let's get into your love life. Let's get into your love life and see what's going on, friend. Some of y'all might end up doing something in the legal system with y'all career and finance. It's like that I have risen now, okay? Or y'all just doing stuff that's going to be fair. Yeah, we got no twice for the career and finance. Heavy on that hell no. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on, friend. Let's see what's going on with your love life. With the love life, this could be you or your person. I say things like he, she, them, they. You just gotta make it. You gotta make it fit, okay? You gotta make it fit. If it's you, it's you. If it's them, it's them. I don't know. For me, it'd be, it'd be I don't know. It'd be what I be talking about and the way y'all be talking about. It, so I don't know with y'all, okay? So let's get um, what's going on with the romance, the love life? What's going on with the love life? 
see listen to your intuition when it comes down to your love life your intuition is what is what got you into this situation your intuition is what's going to get you through yeah hella success is coming out of your love life here so i feel like um your intuition is guiding you towards somebody it's telling you to go somewhere and take that have you resonate for some here and it's going to bring some type of success here this person is most definitely going to differ from your usual usual type here this is choosing a new direction here i'm hearing god say think bigger as well yeah look for the signs because nothing right now is coincidence i'm hearing sub, 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 subliminals 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 girl did i say it right for you Slabinimals, girl, bitch, whatever. That's why I'm hearing somebody throwing sh slick shots towards your way. Somebody see you as a helpful person. Somebody see you as an angel. Somebody want to support you. And also, they feel like that you could support them here. Yeah, within the next few weeks. So, some of this stuff could be unfolded soon, uh, unfolding soon here. Yeah, let go here. I feel like this person had to let something go in the past. Take that how you resonate. You or them had to let go and trust God here. So that's what been taking the process a little mini. Clearly communicate here. So you had to really clear clearly communicate with God, with God what you want in here in order for him to bring it in here. God say he don't know what you want, baby. You gotta tell him. Well, God do know what you want. I can't say he don't know what you want. You don't know what you want. That's what that would be the issue is because God will is gonna be in your life regardless, whether you want it or not. Here, okay, that's what I'm hearing. Whatever going on, it's gonna be whether you want this shit or not because it's what you deserve. You're literally gonna get what you deserve. Some of y'all, I'm jealous y'all have it. So let's see what's going on with your love life. What's going on with your love life? Okay, honey, we ain't finna do all these cards. I guess we is. We have a seven of cups being here. God is saying walk out on faith and not by sight because everything is not what it seems to be. You might feel like this person has a lot of options. You might feel like um, this person is too good to be true. You might feel like why you choose me and you got all these bad bitches, this, that, and the third because you're the it, you're the it, you're the pick here. That's what I'm feeling like. Everything is not what it seems to be with this person here. This person might live some type of glamorous lifestyle, but they don't like it. So that's why they're choosing somebody like you, energy. Yeah, um, world card here. So somebody is choosing to walk out on faith and not by sight. They're ending some type of huge cycle and bringing something new in here. This is like, um, I'm feeling like God is God is telling this person with their intuition here. Yeah, the four of pentacles here. I feel some energy where this person is gaining power. They're gaining control over their life and they're holding back from a lot of things that no longer serve them here. So they had to they had to build their life back up. Yeah, ace of wands. I mean, ace of swords here. So somebody is going to come in and, and communicate some form of truth with you they want to tell you something they got some type of new idea here this person could have could have had a vision about you so you have it resonate and they want to communicate something they see some new idea in you and whatever the idea is they're going to take off it's going to take off quick the three of wands is at the bottom of the deck again i feel like this person been watching and they've been they've been watching you they've been watching your progress they've been watching your creativity and the things you've been doing on social media here and they really they really see that as a success and they want to take that on here so that's why this person choose you here i'm here make a basic bitch into the baddest <laughs> make a basic bitch into the baddest friend let's see what's going on what's going on with this um Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Yeah, we have a Knight of Pentacles here. Somebody is finna come in and romance you, wind it down you. You might feel like this person is a player here, but he's finna come in that way. This is finna be like the will of fortune in love. He just wants you to have a good time. He wants you to, he want to heal. He want, he wants you to heal and he also want to heal. This is like taking a break from all that chaos energy and just being able to relax here. Yeah, Page of Swords here. I feel like this person don't know how to communicate with you. Though they might communicate something small like, what's up? Like, hey, how you doing? It's gonna be something funny because he really don't know how to communicate but this person most definitely been watching you and he's very curious about you yeah high priest high priest just came out so this person gets some type of download on you i ain't even gonna lie yeah. confirmation i was gonna say it too listen i ain't even gonna lie because god told me last night he woke me up at three o'clock in the morning and showed me this card right so with the high priest coming out this person has some type of inner knowing about you okay I feel like this person, if they don't necessarily get tarot readers on you, but it's something that they do. Sorcerer, it's somebody, it's some high priest lady that told him a lot about you, that told you, told him your hidden secrets, everything about you, honestly. It's no secret. This person is very spiritual. This person get downloads as well. And I told, I asked God, how the fuck did this man read my energy? Like, I thought you blocked my energy. That's, I'm, I'm <laughs> Chicken guy, y'all. Chicken guy. Like I thought you put up my energy. But God said the same way you tapping into his energy. 
the same way he's going to tap on yours. He can't block nothing because I'm opening the door up. So that's exactly what God said. So this person most definitely is talking to some type of high priest, some type of spiritual lady, and she's telling him a lot about you. I feel like this person, this this spiritual high priest lady is telling him that you, that you need a romance in your life. That you're looking for love, that you need a romance in your life, that you need a nice guy, you need somebody who's going to wind it down you, who who want to romance you, who want to take you out. Their high priest is also telling him that you're coming out to the world like you have a lot of options, like you have, like you're living your best life and you're not here. You're really secretly depressed in the inside. I'm telling you, their high priest done told him a lot of stuff about you. So, hey, so that's what, and that's exactly what God had to open my eyes up to. He said, nobody else could tap into your energy. That's why, um, when I had that dream that that beast stung me, another lady coming up under there and said somebody intruded into your energy. And God, and, and when he woke me up last night, he said, exactly. That girl was right. Somebody really, that's why they beast stung me and I passed out and I went to the lab and they experimented it on me. Because they was literally reading my shit. They was reading everything about me. The moon card here. This man, the high priest in the moon card. I kid you not. This man know all your hidden secrets. There's nothing that they could be hidden about this man at all here. Whoever they're talking to, too, she told this person all your motherfucking secrets. It's not a game. Same way you know everything about this man. This man know everything about you, but that's why he's choosing you though. He's choosing you because you're you're new, you're fun, you're pure, your 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 energy is high rated. You don't have nothing else attached to you. You ain't even live life shit. That's the type of energy that I'm feeling. So he's choosing a star card. He's choosing to make the dreams come true. He's choosing to make a wish fulfillment. This is the person that know about past lives. This is the man that know about a lot of stuff here. He's very spiritual. I kid you not. I kid you not. Some of y'all gonna come back up on this video and say, man, I did not motherfucking think that shit was true. Same way y'all getting all this information, that man is getting all this information as well. He's just not doing it through tarot. He could, he could be doing it through tarot, you know, but I'm feeling like it's something that's a, of a higher power though. Like, it's like, I don't know. She, he showed a picture of you and that girl see, read your eyes. I don't know. It's something of a higher power here. Take your eyes and raise now, okay? Tell me more what's going on. Um with this world card yeah that's why they chose to end a lot of stuff that's why they chose to let go of a lot of stuff because they knew the truth <laughs> ace of swords they knew the truth about you they knew the truth about you and they was willing to put up with it they was willing to just take it on here yeah the page of cups here this person sees you as young fun and innocent okay these persons feel like you're naive in life i'm not even gonna lie to you they feel like you're something new this is like like energies like this is very rare you never get no energy that life ain't beat them down here life ain't break this person this is like like you hit this person heart chakra this is something unexpected this person whatever she told him about you she, he did not believe it here this was something unexpected like this bitch don't got no kids this bitch living life innocent she done been through all this and she's still motherfucking going like yeah, I gotta, I gotta have a new beginning with that. I gotta, I got to, I got to, yeah. And I feel like too, yeah, nine of wands. That that energy told him, okay, she got boundaries too. She has boundaries. She has some type of wall up. She has some type of guard up. She don't like childish ass little boys. She don't like dumb ass children ass energies here. I'm telling you, I kid you not. So that boy is changing himself into what you want. Okay, he's changing himself into what you want here. Tell me more. Yeah, the four of wands. This person want to connect with you. They want to marry you. They want. This is going to be some type of major accomplishment um, between you guys. It's the small things that count towards this person. This person feel like if you got a good foundation, they can build on top of that shit. Yeah, strength card. Okay, this person had to gather their strength. They need. To, they needed to know the truth before they even came towards you here. Somebody told them that you was very strong. Somebody told them that you was in some type of commitment. That that you was in. That you was fighting in nine to one. That you was in some type of physical abuse energy here, where you had to stand up for yourself. Somebody told them that you're strong as hell. You're a strong ass woman. That you. That you like. You don't let the world beat you down. You keep pushing no matter what here. King of Swords, investigator investigator i kid y'all not this man have been investigating you shawty he know everything that it is to know about you shawty this man been keeping a close eye on you do you see the little birdie at the top of his head head and, that, and do you see the little owl shawty owls are knowing have an inner knowing bro it's been a little birdie that's been sending back messages and you open up the door to this you open up the door to this person i kid you not you open up the door lover's card 
Love is quiet. These persons feel like you're the love of their life. They feel like y'all probably had some type of past connection towards each other. Here, y'all probably were soulmates in a past life. Take that however resonate here. This person sees you as a wife connection. This person sees you as, as somebody who can submit. Somebody who will, who will let him be dominant. Somebody who will let him run the show here. They see you as a kingdom. This is your kingdom spouse. Like, y'all was designed to be together. Mm. Tell me more about the seven of cups here. I feel like this Seven of Cups came out twice. I kid y'all not. This person is choosing to walk out on faith and not by sight. Everything is literally not what it seems to be here. So you can't be mad. Eight of Cups, he's walking away from a lot of things that no longer serve him. He might have had a lot of options in the past, but he's done with it. That person see one thing and one thing only here. He's tired of that confused ass energy. So this person is choosing to walk away. Maybe they had some type of family household, but I feel like this person live a stable, abundant life on their own and they don't need nobody here. So they're realizing like, hey, I'm the bread and the butter so i can i can make any decision that i want to make and they're choosing to just leave they're choosing to just walk out on faith and not by sight because they got some type of hidden knowing of you emperor here this most definitely is the boss this most definitely is an entrepreneur he get a lot of respect as well okay like um ten of swords he realized it can't nothing get no worse than what he been through and like i said he's the bread he's the butter He's a provider. He's a man for real. He's going to handle his responsibility as a man. He just need a woman who can handle her shit. Who can, who can play her part. He wants somebody to submit. That's the honest to God truth. With the ten of um, swords being here, this man is closing some type of painful cycle in his life. Something that was a ruin. Realize, okay, nothing getting no worse than what he's been through. So realizing that this shit is all fine. And I feel like while he been going through this shit, he been watching you on his phone. He been keeping some type of close eye towards you. Death card. I kid you not, this person is going through a spiritual awakening. They're being reborn again. This person is going through something spiritually and he's holding on to something. Take that. I feel like he's holding on to the thought of you, but it's like, like how I'm holding on to terror right now. He's holding on to some type of inner knowing about you. It's something that he got some type of download. I kid you the fuck not, bro. This person is transforming himself. He's not the way that he used to be in the past. No more. It's done. It's done. Not a king of pickles. King of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like with the King of Pentacles coming out, like I said, this man is a provider. This man is compassionate. Wherever he wherever he go, he plan on staying. He plan on being loyal. He plan on being there for a long time. So he had to get the truth about you. He had to. And I feel like I'm hearing fixed sign. This person was stuck on you. He could not he could not just let it go. He had to know the truth about you. So he's changing into some type of older guy, some type of old firm man. Here, yeah, six of um pentacles being here. He want to give you something. He see this as a balance. He see this as an even give and take here. He feel like if he give you what you need, you'll get him what he what he needs. Supplies. Take out take out every resonate. Eight of swords here. Yeah. This man felt trapped to an energy. I feel like he was providing for somebody in the past as well somebody who just wanted him for what he had because he was always giving, 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 sharing, sharing, sharing. So it was a lot of negative energy surrounding this man. This man had to come up out of that trap energy here. I'm hearing baptized. I'm hearing um, deep cleansing. He had to go. He had to go on some type of spiritual awakening here to get this negative energy off him because he really felt caged in here. So this man really been on some type of spiritual journey here where he been where he been removing all that negative ass shit away from him. And somebody has, I'm hearing bye bye, Lord. Somebody has been giving him the truth. Somebody has been telling him the truth, been telling him what to do, where to go, how to move, who 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 this person is, everything. Two of Wands been telling him to go towards something new, go towards that thing he's been watching. Tell me about this ace of um swords here. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, he's getting the truth on something. He's, he's, I told you he had some type of vision to come work on this. To come work on this. That this girl has a good foundation. This this girl, this man, this person has a good foundation. This person is very stable in life. And you should collab with him, with them, okay? Because I'm feeling some energy where this is going to work out, okay? Like I said, this man is going to be a teacher while you be the student. He's going to teach you something. He's going to be able to, to grow you and, and provide. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing heavy provide energy. Ace of, Ace of Wands, again, it's the Ace of Wands on top of the Ace of Wands. The truth most definitely came out, bro. And it told him to go towards you. Six of Swords, man. The Six of Swords said, go move towards that person, pack up everything and motherfucking go. Because that's going to be the energy that's going to give you peace. This is going to be the energy that's going to give you healing. That's going to give you comfort and security here. That's what I'm hearing. Shit ain't going to be so hard with that energy. So that person most definitely did get some type of, some type of, some type of, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. That y'all have some type of stable household. That y'all be good and comfortable in life. That you're a real, that you're a wife. You like to be at home with the kids. Take it however it resonates. You want to, you want to really provide. 
provide here. You want to live some type of comfortable, stable life. And not only that, you're loyal here. You're very loyal to this guy. You're gonna and y'all gonna be together for a long time. Somebody told that man that y'all gonna be together for a fucking long time, that you're never gonna trade up. Y'all gonna have long time wealth with each other, and that you're trustworthy. Five of Swords being here. I feel like this man did that because he had a lot of regrets in the past. It was a lot of things in the past that he fucked up on. So he had to make sure that when he stepped into this new connection, it gotta be right. It gotta be right. So if I gotta get if I gotta goddamn ask about this person, I told you. Magician with the devil. Some type of somebody that that somebody gave him some type of inner knowing about you, Shawty. Somebody spilled your secrets, secrets that you would die with. Somebody told this man because this man really wanted you. He desired you, but he had to know. He had to know everything about you. I kid y'all the fuck not. It could have been somebody in the evil cult. Take it how it resonate. Everybody don't believe in God. Everybody don't believe in God. Take it how it resonate here. But I feel like this person do believe in God. Same way, same way I believe in God, and I'm still doing the tarot. This man do believe in God, but he knew that this that this sorcerer could tell him the truth because he didn't know no other way but to go through this sorcerer. I'm telling y'all the fuck not. I'm telling. Look, the star card, and the star card told him that's it. That's your wish fulfillment. That's what you've been hoping and praying for. It's going to give you that Ten of Cups. It's going to give you that Ten of Cups. It's going to give you that happy ever out That wish fulfillment here. This is, the, this is the new beginning. This is most definitely going to be stable in your life. I kid you not. I kid you not. This person could have did it because they was bored. They was tired of watching you here and they wanted to come in here. But this person cared so much. They done been through so much when it came down to love that they didn't want to make no fucked up ass mistakes. Here. So I feel like this person is coming in. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Was done in the dark, gonna always come to the light here. So this person had some type of hidden, like he got some type of hidden knowing about you here. He might not even tell you that he did this. So let's see what the, um, what's he, what's the news? Let's see. What's going on, huh? It's a bitch I want, um, Bitch, I want, I'm the missus now. I feel like you're going to win this energy over everybody here. Like I said, he do have a lot of options. So I feel like you're going to win this energy over everybody. It's say a copycat because he was confused. That's why he went to talk to this sorcerer or whoever the fuck this is. He was very confused because somebody was copying you. He felt like somebody was trying to outbeat you, trying to win. But I feel like it, it didn't work. This, this girl wasn't doing nothing but copying you here. Yeah, it's like pregnancy, morning sickness came in reverse here. He got the truth about that. Somebody was never really pregnant here. Somebody was just trying to keep on, keep holding on to him. I'm telling you, she did all that shit because she had some, he had some type of unexpected lover come into his life here. So this man was very confused. He didn't know what the fuck to do here. Yeah, best friend having her back. And, um, I feel like the, uh, her best friends and shit like that probably was like, yeah, keep that nigga. With you know how these hoes be, girl. I don't fuck these bitches, bitch. But the best friend most definitely did have her back while you was somewhere minding your business. You didn't even know about this stuff. You was too busy taking care of yourself here. Yeah, predicted. Predicted. I'm telling y'all, this person went and talked to somebody else and told, and the, and the, the psychic told this person the fucking truth, bro. The, the, the psychic told him everything on how everything was going to happen. I told y'all this man was a confused man. He was very depressed. Okay, so he needed proof. He needed some type of receipts to make some type of move to say fuck you and to go towards some type of privileged lady, bro. I kid y'all the fuck not, man. That motherfucker. Mm, and then this is Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is a Sagittarius, y'all. So whoever he could have talked to could have been another Sagittarius. Take that however resonate, baby. But this was well predicted, shawty. It was it, it probably wasn't even you. Like I said, this man probably wasn't even watching you, but he putting some type of bitch in his in her place here. Most definitely because he went and got some type of truth because he was so fucking depressed. It was so much negative energy going on around him, man. Yeah, he's venting about you now. He's venting about you. Somebody is literally losing their mind because you're the new hot chick on the block here. Mm -mm -mm. Still stalking you. Still stalking you. Still stalking you. Still stalking you. This man is keeping a close eye on you. And not only is this man keeping a close eye on you, but this bitch is too. It's a, um, making you believe a lie. This girl trying to tell some type of lie on you. Shots fired here. You done hit somebody hot shot for our kids. You the fuck not keeping it private. Y'all gonna keep this relationship private. And like I said, he's not gonna tell you that he was stalking you, shawty. He's not, he's gonna make you think, girl, that, uh -uh, that wasn't me. I ain't do no shit like that. That shit motherfucking crazy. He's faking. He's faking because he needed to know the truth about you because a lot of shit that you were saying was seeing that man heart chakra. So he went to the real deal. He went to the real deal and the real deal confirmed everything that you said. 
confirm everything that you said. So this person is going to come in and y'all going to keep that connection private. Y'all going to keep it to yourselves here. Let's see what the Kipper did want to say. Yeah, main man. This most definitely do, he want to be the main male in your life. And this man most definitely is some type of wealthy ass guy. He could be some type of mature guy for others, okay? So this person most definitely, he want to be the main thing in your life. He don't want nobody else. He only wants you. This man is most definitely a wealthy man. He's well taken care of. He provides for himself. And if he's not a wealthy man for everybody else, he's some type of mature man. He's some type of older guy that done been through a lot. And he's a provider. Here. So he don't want no dumbass energy. Yeah, he see you as good fortune. He see you as good luck here. He feel like it'll be up from here. Yeah, so he had to end a lot of shit. He had to put a lot of shit to rest in order to bring you in here. Yeah, lovers. I'm telling you, the, the whoever, whatever the bitch said, they said this was the love of your life toward a labor. I kid you not. Black magic. Somebody got some type of information on you. They were willing to do whatever it took to get some type of information on you. And they told them that you was the love of their life, that, that you should pick that girl. That, that girl going to be loyal to the bone and y'all going to have a good, a fun, playful life here. Yeah, this man was in despair. In despair. He was in distress because he didn't know if he, he should have stayed with his old shit or he should go to his new shit. So he had, he needed answers here. And, the, and they told him to go towards a single privileged lady. Somebody who's focusing on themselves. Somebody who done made a lot of shit on her own. She don't need nobody else. Give her the gift. This this person right here changed your motherfucking life. You might got to travel to that girl. But y'all going to get on some type of journey with each other that's going to last forever. Y'all going to be with each other forever. Y'all going to go through some type of journey with each other here. Secrets in a family room. Family room. Y'all going to have some type of family together. Here, I feel like y'all, like I said, y'all gonna go through a lot, but I feel like y'all gonna, y'all gonna be kept a secret. That's why they keep keeping it private here. Y'all gonna, he gonna keep this secret. He's going to keep this a secret for a minute. He's also going to be giving you a lot of unexpected income. You're going to be the main female in his life, main male, main female. Y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be to each other. I kid y'all not studying wealth. You're never going to have to worry about money no more when you when you're um with this person. And then we have a child card of high honor. Y'all child is going to be royal. Y'all child is going to be very privileged here. You're going to have a a child of high honor. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like a the Virgin Mary. Take the habit, resonate. They told him something very significant about your child. Okay, your child is royalty. Your child is of high honor. Okay, something like that. Y'all could y'all could even have his first daughter if he don't have a daughter. Take the habit, resonate. Let me get one more card. Yes, expectations. Okay, expectation came right on out. Some of y'all probably been expecting this person to take the hat of a resume. But I feel some energy where this person is, he, he, you meet all the qualifications here. You meet all the, all the, all the qualifications here. Yeah, message. So this person is going to send you some type of message in. So let's get, let's see what my dad want to say. Quick. Yeah, it say block. Need, somebody needs to be blocked. Okay, he had to block out a lot of shit in order to bring this abundance in. That's why he said be patient. He already knew to choose you. Yeah, a fire sign here. You could be a fire sign. There's some type of new love that's gonna come into your life. Some type of dream come true here. He had to block something out. He had to leave something alone here in order for this success and this abundance to come in. Cause they, they probably could have told him that whoever you're fucking with, she's gonna lose her motherfucking mind. She's gonna try to. She's gonna try to do something crazy, something unexpected to end this shit. So whoever he talked to told him that he has to let that, that past go first. Yeah, this person is going to ask to come take you out one night, take that however it resonate. Yeah, this person is knowing that he has to change for you. Earth sign just came. Earth sign just tweaked his head. So I feel like if this person is not a fire sign or you're not a fire sign, y'all going to get a lot of attention, a lot of public recognition coming in from this situation. January, keep peeking his head. Let's see one more card. And earth sign just fell out officially. So this is most definitely an earth sign. Or if he's not an earth sign, he's going to bring in a lot of stability to your life. It's a unblock these haters. Let them see this come up. Think positive. Positive thoughts change your life. Two, two, two is also abundance. It's, it's balance. So everything is going to come into balance. Everything that you've been wanting here. Then we have new cards coming soon. We have somebody rich want to fly you out and get to know you. Four, four, four. Your angels is supporting this connection here. It's a pregnancy soon. Some of y'all might really end up getting pregnant by this person. Summertime. Some of y'all might be pregnant by summertime from this energy take that have to resonate um number 12 good things are on the way to you here i'm hearing the good and the evil everything is working for your better good everything is literally working for your better good here okay so we're not going to take all these So yeah, that's why I said I told y'all in the beginning, it told y'all to think bigger. You gotta think bigger here, because this person is not gonna differ. I mean, this person is gonna differ from your usual type here. 
But I was gonna say they're not gonna differ from your usual type. They might they might look different from your usual type, but it's gonna be like they're gonna be different because they're gonna be on a higher level here. They're gonna be done healed here. God is sending the angels to help here. I'm telling y'all, somebody literally gave somebody a message about you. Somebody could have told this energy that you're on some type of a come up, that you have potential here, that you have potential. So take it that you're embracing your pain because you know there's something better. This person most definitely is going to be a sugar daddy. He's most definitely going to provide for you. Some of y'all going to look like a prostitute. Take how it resonates here. Sugar baby coming out. I'm telling y'all, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to talk down on you. It's going to want to talk shit about you. Fuck them. Fuck them. You're living your life though. See, yeah, it's a big cap. Some of y'all probably was dealing with some type of big cap in the, in the past. Maybe it was a water sign. Somebody, somebody that was bad, toxic here, girl fight. Um, if y'all know a water sign that's a female, take it how it resonate. Or I don't know what's going on with this water sign, but it's a girl fight. She got pressure towards you. Bad, toxic relationship. Run, leave that shit alone in the past here. It's a 10, 10, 10. You are very unique. Here. So it's only something that you could do in this world. Whoever this world water sign is, they're a big cap here. They're always flexing. They don't have they don't they're not living that life that they say they're they're, they're living. And that person is gonna hate you for no reason. They're gonna always hate on you. Alright, you guys. So thank y'all for watching my videos. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. You girls out. Peace.